Warcraft 3 Reforged is now the worst user-rated game on Metacritic, as it is currently sitting at a 0.5 with over 23,000 reviews, and that is just a few days after launch. There have been hundreds of posts on the forums discussing issues and disappointment with fans, and Blizzard has truly stayed silent since the launch of the game. Maybe they were afraid of consumer backlash and afraid that fans and players would truly attack them, or maybe they just did not care. They knew going into the launch that it was a bugged and broken product, but they said nothing because they wanted to release it in quarter one of 2020. Now, people really wanted this game to be a good one, but unfortunately, it has turned out to be a very large failure. Blizzard obviously faced a lot of backlash due to just how awful the game is. For the poor opt optimization, the bugs, glitches, a handful of downgrades, and plenty of missing features from Reforged um, compared to the original. But after these problems, and then refusing to refund users, there has been a pretty shallow update from the developer team. Now, this is Blizzard we are talking about, so when I saw that they had addressed the situation, I was skeptical. I go into anything with the name Blizzard on it now with with a lot of skepticism. And I don't necessarily say that because Blizzard is the worst company out there, but we started with EA, we moved to Bethesda, and now we are on Blizzard's reign of terrors. Hail War 3 players, we've been following the discussions the past couple of days and want to thank you for your feedback as well as your support. First off, we want to say we're sorry to those of you who did not have the experience you wanted, and we'd like to share our plans for what's coming next. They instantly do not admit the fact that we rushed this product out, we're sorry that we put out a bad product, that this is our fault. No, no. They instantly go into the fact that we're sorry you did not have the experience that you wanted, instantly turning it around saying your expectations were too high. Well, Blizzard, you were the ones that falsely advertised this game. I don't think it's our fault for being excited for this product. We did not think that you were going to take Reforged and make it a downgrade of the game from 17 years ago. There were a few hours during the launch day where we experienced server load issues that impacted players' abilities to jump right in. But we were able to resolve those later in the day. Separate from that, we've seen co community feedback about different aspects of Reforged that we wanted to take some time to address. Now, a launch day problem does not really surprise me. I am an MMO player. Every MMO in the history of MMOs has launched in a poor state, and there are always server problems. But again, this is a AAA developer. This is Blizzard that we are talking about. Maybe our expectations were just a little bit too high for the products that they can put out in 2020. Before we go on, the team is excited that Warcraft 3 Reforged is finally upon us, and we're fully committed to supporting the game for a long time to come. The next few patches and updates we'll discuss below are just part of our ongoing plans. This game is an integral part of the Blizzard DNA, with a team who loves Warcraft 3, and we're going forward to pouring our hearts into Reforged and the Warcraft 3 community for the long term. They already are going into to the fact that this is something that they want to work on for a long time. No, they can't just put out a product in a good state. They have to tone it back, in a sense. They have to maybe put it out with a couple of problems so that they can t continuously work on it because that is what makes them money. The fact that they are continuously working on it so that they can continue to promote it. Why can't you just release a product in full, in good, a, a good state, from day one. That is all that we really want. We just don't want to be ripped off. We do not want our money taken away for something that is not completed and not even close to being a good full product. 
One of the concerns with Reforged that we've seen are the visuals when selecting classic mode. We've identified the bug causing the colors and shading to look different from the original Warcraft 3, and we're testing a fix that will be incorporated in a larger patch addressing the issue and others. We expect, expect to release that later this week. The patch will also address many other known issues, such as fixing some portrait animations and audio bugs, implementing some UI fixes, and more. Please keep an eye out for the patch notes for a detailed list of the bug fixes. They ruined this so awfully. They screwed this so royally that they broke Warcraft 3. They broke the game that was not even the Reforged, so if you did not purchase the game and you do not know, basically Warcraft 3 and Reforged both merged in a sense. So they broke Reforged so badly that they legitimately broke the game from so many years ago. This is awful! Blizzard, what are you doing? There are some individual concerns that we've seen that we were currently not planning to address and we wanted to give the community a heads up. A heads up means you do it beforehand and this is definitely after the fact that they removed these features, but we'll let them give us a heads up. As a version 1.30 of the original game, we saw very low usage of tournaments and of the Reign of Chaos rule set, so we removed both in mid-2019. Eliminating the maintenance for underused elements has helped us streamline our overall support of the game and focus on areas impacting the most players. That said, we do anticipate that players who prefer Reign of Chaos will find custom games with similar rule sets which we hope will satisfy that concern. Now they end with, we know this update doesn't address all questions, but we're committed to the development and support of the game. We hope you'll keep an eye out for this week's patch and future updates and let us know what you think as we continue the fine tunings. Until then, thank you as always for your support and passion for Warcraft 3. We appreciate all of your feedback and will continue to keep the Warcraft 3 community updated on everything we are working on. I truly think that this response is bullshit, and that is a problem that Blizzard has. They never stop to consider how to respond, and I truly think blaming consumers for having a specific expectation, and then saying, well, we weren't planning on telling you that we removed these features, truly shows how much Blizzard does not know how to handle press statements. I mean, look back at the Blitzchung situation. They never truly apologized to him in public. They never sounded sincere about it. They said, well, we'll try to do better in the future and try to do better going forward, yet they completely ignored the situation at hand. This statement does not change anything to me as a consumer. It blames consumers for having high expectations that they set. They made a 17-year-old game into a live service, and honestly, I am just disappointed with Blizzard. This amazing amazing company has turned into something awful so quickly, and it's painful to see it fall apart. They have created some of my favorite games in the past, and going forward, I just have no faith in them. And with every shallow statement like this one, they're damaging the little reputation that they have left. But that is all that I truly had to discuss today. Please let everyone know your thoughts on this statement in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. And of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way. But I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.